Okay, we've got Cyrus of Pilot Communications here to tell us about the new devices at EAA AirVenture 2021. So what did you bring to the show this year? So we brought out the Blue Link 2, the A1, and the P1. And the A1 and P1 are carbon fiber. Those are the three newest devices that we brought out for this year. There's a lot of bells and whistles with it. We have new things from the previous Blue Link. We added a USB-C power input. We added auxiliary input. Also, you can connect to two devices at once, meaning I can have like my four flight. So you can have like an iPad paired to the Blue Link and a cell phone paired at the same time. And no one else is doing that. Only like other people are doing one device currently. So we're, we're doing two devices. That's a really big game changer because that's we really listen to the customer and like see, try getting their feedback. Oh, is there anything we could do different? So we take that pretty seriously. And we did those changes based off that. So can people buy a Blue Link just with your headsets or can they purchase that standalone? Uh, so they can purchase it standalone and they can add any other general aviation headset to it. Or it comes with our A1 and P1, which is already fixed onto it. So it's almost like a combo deal. You're getting a headset and a Blue Link, or you can just get the Blue Link and use it with any other general aviation headset. So a little bit more about that P1 headset. Could you tell me what's new about that? Right. What's new is, one, it's full 100% genuine carbon fiber. It's the lightest in the market. It's only 10 ounces. It has 23 decibels of canceling, and it's a very good headset. It's got, obviously, the Blue Link attached to it, which is a big plus on that. Really, the Blue Link on that module for the P1, it, that's really the brains of the device because, I mean, once again, that's a part of it. But as far as the headset, we have a leatherette memory ear seal. So it actually memorizes the shape of your ear after a couple of times of usage. And it also has a gel head sealer as well, a head foam up there. So it's a very, very comfortable, obviously very lightweight. And we designed it really so we could prevent like fatigue from pilots. So for those longer flights, you know, people doing cross countries after a while wearing other headsets, you get that big clamping pressure. So we wanted to really prevent that and make it as comfortable as possible. That's really the biggest idea of it all. With the A1, is there some difference between the Papa One, Alpha One? So the A1 is um, active. What it's standing for is active noise reduction. So A for active and P for passive. So active is obviously our top of the line for noise reduction. And then the P1 is just passive, which is just no noise canceling, depending on what application. If you have a noisier cockpit, it depends on what you need, really. Or some people have worse hearing. They prefer the A1 and stuff like that. So it just really depends on the application. All right. Thank you very much, Cyrus. Mm -hmm.